In today's video, I will be showing you how to get around the Windows 10 start menu not allowing you to search if you have just disabled the Time Broker service. So unfortunately, sometimes if you disable this service, then your Windows 10 start menu won't allow you to search. So as you can see on my computer at the moment, if I type in test or anything, I cannot search, which means it's unfortunately done it to my computer. But there is a way around to fixing this issue, but also keeping the Time Broker service disabled. So the first thing you need to do is open up the File Explorer. You now need to go to your C drive, and you now need to open up the Windows folder. You now need to open up the System32 folder. We now need to click anywhere in this folder, and you now need to type in CT. You now need to copy this file here, so we need to right click on this file and create a shortcut. So we need to click on copy and you then need to paste the shortcut to your desktop. So the file name is CTFMON. We now need to right click on our desktop and go paste shortcut. You now need to go back to your C drive. We now need to open up the program data folder. If you cannot see this folder, then you need to simply expand the ribbon by clicking on this arrow here. You then need to click on view and you now need to tick this box here that says hidden items and you will then be able to see the folder. You now need to open up the program data folder. We now need to go all the way down until you find the Microsoft folder and open up this folder. You now need to open up the Windows folder and we now need to open up the start menu folder. You need to go into programs and you now need to go down to S and open up startup. You now need to right click again on the shortcut on your desktop, but this time we need to click on cut. You now need to paste this into the startup folder and we then need to go continue. And you can now go ahead and sign out of Windows or restart your computer and your Windows search will now work in the start menu. This will allow it to work on all users. You don't need to add this shortcut into the startup folder for each user. I deliberately went into this location so it adds it to all the users as a startup. So I'm now going to go ahead and sign out of Windows and then sign back in again. Okay, so I've just signed back into Windows and as you can see the CTF loader file is there, the shortcut that we just created and it's enabled. So now if I open up my start menu again and if I now type in test, as you can see I can now search again within the Windows 10 start menu. And if I go back to services and open up services, and if I now type in the time broker and double click on that, you can see it's still disabled, but I can still search. So there we go. That is how you resolve the Windows 10 start menu, not searching if you've disabled the time broker service. I hope this tutorial has helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.